think that your sister's special lunch is the appropriate place for an existential crisis? It's not an existential crisis. If you're studying religion, for God's sake, you're bound to have one sooner or later. Not an existential crisis, just the opposite. I was fine when existence had no meaning. Meaninglessness in a universe that had no meaning, that I get. But meaninglessness in a universe that has meaning, What does it mean? It doesn't mean anything. Did the cow creamer tell you that? What has gotten into you? By throwing that creamer away the second we get home. The meaninglessness of meaning? <laughs> Are you people high? Really, darling? You want meaningless? This fondue is meaningless. It mocks everyone at this table. This is your celebratory fondue. You didn't earn celebratory fondue. I don't deserve to be called employee of the month. I don't deserve this certificate. I don't deserve a parking space on P1. But I am taking the afternoon off. Anything you'd like to share? Uh-uh. Nope. How quiet he was, how he always kept to himself. You know who else was quiet and kept to himself? Jeffrey Dahmer. Who are you talking about? Number 12, he snapped. Pat Pat? Dragged Marianne Marie in there down near an hour ago. Ain't nobody heard of Pete since. Honey says he's off his nut. Sounds like something sent him off the edge. thing to do would be to call the police. Mrs. Beetle, are you okay? Piss off, you evil bitch. You're not evil. Where is she? You mind your own business, sauce box. Did you eat all those muffins? I sure did. I tried to tell you. I said I needed to lose 12 more pounds, but you just didn't listen. Where's Mrs. Beetle? Back there. Mrs. Beetle? Hey, Jay. What happens to a caterpillar when you take it out of its cocoon before it's a butterfly, huh? Isn't it like a worm with flippers? Yes, smartass. I am like a worm with flippers. Thanks a lot. You are just so vile. Hey, kitten. Sorry, didn't hear you come in. I was making a sissy. <laughs> Ready for apple cranberry, hon? Yes, please. You do realize you're being held hostage. Is this Stockholm Syndrome? Are you Patty Hearst? What are you squawking about hostages for? I don't see nobody blindfolded and tied to a chair. Man just wanted some muffins. What about your goal weight? I am tired of swimming upstream. I have a new goal weight. You lost 300 pounds. You can't just go and gain it all back again. Well, zinc high on Miss Jenny Craig. Look, I am Fat Pat. I will always be Fat Pat. I tried to turn off my fat dar, but I just can't, okay? Every time I go outside, I wonder, does this restaurant have a booth that's big enough for me to fit in? Does this movie theater have retractable armrests? What time does this market close? Because if it's too busy, then somebody might see what's in my cart. Yeah, and, 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 and turnstiles. Why would somebody do that to a person? I don't know. 300 pounds of phantom flesh. Whether you see it or not, it is still there, so it might as well be real. Because whatever problems I had, being less fat didn't help solve any of them. Oh, God, I'm depressed. You can't let this get you down. The sun will come out, and gray skies are going to clear up. If not, there will be a silver lining, I swear. Just scoot over and give me a muffin. These are really good. Secret ingredients, little Ivy fruit cocktail. Used to buy it by the case. Got three cans left, enough for one more batch. Then Muffin Buffalo will be put out to pasture. Mary Ann Marie, promise you won't get mad. What the hell is wrong with you? You stole an old woman's disability check? 
That violates the high and dry trailer park code of residential conduct, not to mention the basic tenets of Christianity. I know this doesn't really help, but technically I wasn't stealing. I mean, I didn't cash anything. Uh, uh, I feel crampy. Uh. Oh, Lord, your stomach must have burst. That can't be good. You're dehydrated. You lost a lot of weight in an unusual fashion. Did something get amputated? I guess I should have warned you about my muffins. They're fat free. I overdosed on a non caloric fat replacer. Uh huh. You tried to make yourself fat again, but ended up reaching your goal weight. How much did I lose? Thirteen pounds. That stuff really moves business through. Well, that's one pound over my goal weight. Congratulations. I would like to make a business proposal. I had some time to organize my thoughts while you were in your coma. After considering the accelerated manner in which you achieved your dieting goal, it has occurred to me that you have more to offer the American consumer than meets the eye. As someone who has experienced the nutritional benefits of muffin buffalo firsthand, you would make an ideal spokesperson. If you decide to join me in this venture, your name could become synonymous with healthy snack food. You want me? I, I don't know what to say. I, I'd be honored. Thank you. Don't thank me. Well, you're not thanking me. Yes, I am. I am thanking you. I've been ruminating on events. I didn't do anything. Those disability checks you stole more money than I've saved in my entire life. Stop. If you hadn't... Stop. Stop thanking me. What is it with you people? God. Good Lord, woman, there's such a thing as grace. Thank you. Why are you thanking me? I didn't wait on you. We're closed. Oh. Hi. Hi. We're closed. Oh, I don't want to buy anything. In that case, you can come in. What are you doing here? Huh? Oh, uh, you forgot this at the restaurant. Yeah, I sort of forgot it there on purpose, but thanks, though. You're just gonna throw that away after I leave, aren't you? Yep. So, that guy you were with at the bar, is that, uh, is that your boyfriend? Did he say he was my boyfriend? He said you were obsessed with him. That part's true, but only because he used to be Fat Pat. Now that he's just Pat, he's not as interesting. I like that he's not as interesting to you anymore. I like that you like that. But you got the wrong idea about me. I'm not a baby saver. Well, sure you are. I'm really not. Not unless there's coercion, and even then, only if it's convenient. You can't tell me every nice thing you've ever done was because you were forced to do it. I guess I wasn't forced to be nice to Fat Pat. Not really. See? You are nice. You have to leave. Get out. And I'm not nice. I'm just highly susceptible to guilt. You have the wrong idea about you. 